Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this pleated midi skirt. Mine is made out of this pleated velvet fabric, which I think is so, so pretty. And I love this cream color. So if any of you guys um, voted on the color I should do for the skirt in my, I think it was holiday sewing plans video, thank you. I went with your suggestion of the cream color and I really, really like it. But this is such a straightforward, easy sewing project. So if you're newer to sewing, I think this would be a great one to try out. All you need is some pre-pleated fabric. I got mine from Mood Fabrics. They have different styles of pleated fabric. You can find velvet, satin, and they have, I think, like three pages worth of pleated fabric. So I will link to that down below. And then you'll also just need some waistband elastic to go on the waist of the skirt. And then other than that, it's just sewing together two rectangles after you stitch up the pleats. So it's a really easy one to do. So hopefully some of you guys will try this out and I'm going to go ahead and jump in and show you how I did it. This skirt is made out of two rectangular pieces of fabric. So the first thing we need to do before we can start sewing is figure out the measurements for the rectangle. So for the length of the rectangle, you can choose any number that you want, however long you want your skirt to be. I'm going for a midi length, so I've chosen 31 inches. Now for the top measurement, you will need to do one calculation. And for that calculation, you will need your hip measurement. So measure around your hips at the widest point. For me, that is 37 inches. And then plug that number into this calculation right here. So it's going to be the hip measurement divided by two plus 1.5. The 1.5 is one inch for a seam allowance and then half an inch for some ease just to make sure that everything fits. So once I plug all of that in, I am left with the number 20. So I know that my top measurement needs to be 20 inches once the skirt is pleated. A pleat is just a fold in the fabric that will reduce the width of the fabric. So it's important to remember that this number is what we will use once the pleats are already folded together. So that's everything we need to get started and we can go ahead and move on to cutting the skirt out. So the fabric that I'm using for this project is this pleated velvet fabric and I think it's so pretty. I bought two yards of fabric, but because of the width of this fabric, I actually think I could have gotten mine out of just one yard, um, depending on the length that you make your skirt. So the first thing I'm going to do is fold the pleats together along the folded line. And you'll see as you're doing this that it's really natural and easy to do because it's designed to fold this way. So you just want to fold along the fold lines and pin the pleats together along the top. So this process takes a little bit of time, but it's really easy to do. And all I'm going to do is continue folding my pleats and then checking the measurement of this top selvage of my fabric. The selvage is just the edge that won't unravel. And I'm going to do that until this top piece measures 20 inches. Once my pleats are all in place and I have the full width of my rectangle, I can go ahead and cut straight down. I like that this fabric has a fold line because it makes it really easy to cut straight down the fabric. And I'm going to cut 31 inches down towards the bottom of the skirt. And then the last thing to do here to cut this piece out is just to connect the rectangle across the bottom. And I'm just going to check my measurements and make sure that it stays really even as I cut across. So 
So that is one piece done, and now I'm just going to repeat this process for the back piece. And with all of my pleats finally pinned down, I can go ahead and take this over to my sewing machine and I'm going to use a wide basting stitch, so just a really wide stitch, to stitch across the top of my skirt. I'm making sure that I'm sewing it towards the fold of the pleat. This just keeps everything from unfolding as I'm sewing and it makes it a lot easier to do. And you might notice I am sewing over my pins here. Just be really careful if you're doing this. I'm very comfortable sewing over pins and if you're not, I would recommend taking them out as you go. You don't wanna break your needle. Um, but I find it keeps everything a little bit more secure as I am sewing my pleats into place. And once my pleats are sewn down on both the front and back pieces of the skirt, I can go ahead and assemble the skirt. So I'm going to start by pinning the side seams with the right sides together all the way down and sewing these down with a half an inch seam allowance. After I sew this down with a straight stitch, I'm going to use my serger just to finish off the edges to keep them from unraveling. But if you prefer, you can use a zigzag stitch on a regular sewing machine. The next step is to add the elastic waistband. So I've cut a piece of elastic that fits comfortably around my waist and I'm going to join it together into a loop using a zigzag stitch. So I'm just pinning my elastic together along the short end and I'm going to sew over this back and forth using a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. My elastic was white elastic, but I wanted it to match my cream colored skirt a little bit better. So I actually used a black tee to dye it to give it more of a cream color. So if you are working with a similar color, that might be something you want to do as well. So now I have my loop of elastic and I'm going to attach this to the skirt. I'm going to match up the little seam that we put together on the elastic with the side seam of the skirt just to make it easy to keep the elastic even. And I'm just going to pin this over the top. Now because the top of my skirt is the selvage edge, it won't unravel, but if you do have a raveling edge at the top, you can use a serger or zigzag stitch to finish off the edge before you add the elastic. Now I'm finding the other center point and matching this up with the other side seam and then I'm just going to stretch the elastic to fit over the waist as I sew it onto the skirt. I'm making sure to backstitch carefully as I start sewing the elastic onto the skirt and then you'll see as I sew it around, I'm just stretching the elastic evenly all the way around.
And here is how that waistband looks when it's finished. So this will allow it to fit to your waist, but still fit over your hips when you're putting it on. So the last step to finish off this skirt is just to hem it. So I'm going to do a really simple hem and use my serger to just finish off the edge and then turn the serging under and sew that down with a straight stitch. Now you'll notice here that I am making sure not to catch the pleats in the hem. I'm making sure to flatten the fabric out as I use my serger and my sewing machine to hem the skirt. And this is just going to look a lot nicer once it's all done being hemmed. And with the hem sewn, that is all there is to this project. I was so excited to try this out and find out how easy it was to DIY this style of skirt because it's a style that I've seen in the stores for so long. And I love how mine turned out. I love this cream colored velvet fabric. I'll be sure to link to this specific fabric as well as other pleated styles down in the description box below if you'd like to check those out. But it was a really fun DIY to do and I hope some of you guys will try it as well. I'm looking forward to wearing this one for the rest of the kind of late winter winter months. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope some of you guys will try making this skirt yourself. So if you do tag me over on Instagram or on TikTok, I will put my username here and I would love to see how your projects turn out. Um, I think this is such a great, easy sewing project and I'm excited to have made this. I'm going to try it in a few other fabrics in the future, I think, because it's such a quick and easy one and I love that the pleats are just automatically there. It's really great to have that feature in the fabric. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed yet, I would love to have you subscribe by clicking the red button down below. I have a lot of fun sewing videos coming up in the future and I'd love to have you stick around for those. But with that, that is it for me today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.